So I'm Remy Pangel with JMU's Center for the Advancement of Sustainable Energy. <clears throat> Today we're going to be doing an activity uh, using solar energy to power various things. I'll learn a little bit about circuitry in, um, in the process. So I'm going to show you the equipment that we have. Um, I have here a 3 volt 500 milliamp solar panel that I got from Kidwind, that's kidwind.org, and you can get all of these pieces and parts there. We have a DC motor, a buzzer, some LED Christmas lights, some different types of switches, a, a DC water pump, and our bucket of water, which is gonna be super fun. And then a couple of extra sets of alligator clips. And as we get more complex in our circuits, we're gonna need a couple more things to be able to connect things together. So um, we're gonna do a series of mini challenges. <clears throat> and those mini challenges are gonna start relatively simple. And then we're gonna get more and more complex uh, as we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to try and light a light bulb. So we're going to hook up this um, LED Christmas light and we're going to use my fake sun over here and see if we can get it to light up. Uh-oh, it's not lighting. So the thing that we need to know about LEDs is light emitting diodes are um, only able to accept electrons in a certain direction or else they won't turn on. So if we switch the poles, our blue light lights right up. So success, mini challenge number one, check. Mini challenge number two, we're going to make the buzzer buzz. So we're gonna start by hooking up red to red <clears throat> and black to black. Oh yeah. Like best sound ever, right? <laughs> awesome. Now let me ask you a question. If I were to hook red to black and black to red, do you think the buzzer would still go off? Or is it like an LED light bulb where it can only accept electrons in a certain direction? Ah, so it can only be hooked up in one way. So that's gonna be really important as we move along. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try and power is our DC motor. So with the motor, we're gonna apply electricity uh, and then the shaft is going to spin and make our little fan go. Uh, so we're going to hook one side to red, one side to negative, and there it is. It's spinning away. Now, what do you think happens if I connect it the other way? Do you think it's still going to spin? It still spins, it just spins in the opposite direction. Super. Okay, so now that we've gotten everything to work, the next challenge is to have something hooked up, but then we're going to add a switch. So again, we had our DC motor spinning. Now we want to add a switch. And do you all remember what a switch does? All it does is allows us to break open our circuit to turn off whatever we're trying to power momentarily. So we're going to open our circuit up and we're gonna grab a red alligator clip. So now we have a hole in our circuit, this loop here, and we're gonna add a switch. And so we're gonna use this switch that I made, a real simple switch that I made out of paper clips and if we clip one side of our circuit to one paper clip and one side to the other, we now have a full circuit. And when we touch the paper clips together, this is going to be hard to do <laughs> with one hand. If we touch the paper clips together, we've closed the circuit and it just opened again. So this probably isn't the best demonstration. We need probably to have not. something like a light. Mm -hmm. So something I can hold with one hand. Probably. So why don't we start that over again? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go back to our light. 
Now let's go to the buzzer. The buzzer. And so we know that if we hook the buzzer black to black and red to red, it's gonna make a noise, right? This lovely noise. So if we wanna be able to turn that noise on and off, we're gonna break open our circuit. And you can see that we literally have broken the loop. So we're gonna use a black alligator clip to extend our loop. And if we touch them together, we can close the circuit, open the circuit. And a switch does that just in a little bit prettier way. So I'm gonna use this simple switch that I made using some paper clips. <clears throat> And you can see that I can open the circuit, but then I can touch the paper clips together and close the circuit. Open, close. So if I connect one alligator clip to each side of the paper clip, we can see how our circuit opens and closes. Perfect. So now that we've added the switch to our circuit, the next step is to see if we can power two things with the switch. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the switch out and make sure I can power two things. And then we'll see if we can add the switch back in. So why don't we see if we can light a light bulb and make the buzzer go at the same time. So not seeing anything happening. So probably my LED is switched around. So let's try that again. Let me switch it around. There's the light bulb and the buzzer. Super, but you can see now that I need to get the light way closer to my solar panel in order to have both things get powered. And that's a whole nother discussion. But now let's break open that circuit like we did before and add our switch in. So now I'm just gonna pick another alligator clip. Doesn't matter what color, but now you can see my loop <clears throat> is opened and we're gonna hook one end to one paper clip one end to the other and if we open them nothing's happening nothing's happening no light but if i connect them we're getting everything to work now again there's a lot of power being used so it's a little fainter and we need a little bit more power but we were successful so here's the last challenge this is great. We were able to turn one off, uh, one switch, and we could turn both things on and off. Now, the question is, can we turn one off at a time? So instead of having both the motor, or pardon me, the buzzer and the light get turned on and off at the same time, can I have the light stay on, but the buzzer turn on and off? And in order to do that, I need to change my circuit from a series circuit where everything is in one big circle, one big loop, to now being a parallel circuit. And in a parallel circuit, that's when all the red sides are connected and all of the black sides are connected. So if this is red and this is red, all of these are gonna get connected together. <clears throat> and then all of the black sides are gonna get connected together. This black is a little bit minimal here. And now we've got both of them way stronger, right? So now, we want to keep the light on, but we want to put a switch on the buzzer. 
So we're going to add the alligator clip to the middle of our buzzer here. So we're gonna have a really big loop for the buzzer and a really small loop for the light. And then our switch is going to open and close the buzzer circuit. All right, ready? Oh wait, it popped off, hold on. So using a parallel circuit, we can have the light stay on in the house, but the doorbell only rings when our paper clips go together. Pretty cool, huh? So that's why we would use a parallel circuit in your house. Not only that, but you can see that we don't have to put the solar panel right up to the light in order to get enough power for everything. So now we're gonna try this um, awesome DC water pump. So the key to this one is that you want it in the water when you start it up because you don't want to burn out the motor. So we're going to hook red to red and black to black. And as we get it nice and close to the sun, woohoo, there's our water pump. And we move it away from the light and closer to the light. We can get it to shoot further. Super fun. So now that we've gotten everything to power, um, I want to give you some ideas of what to do. We had this fantastic circuit where we had the light lighting and the buzzer going on and off like a doorbell. Um, and so when you're done playing with circuits and you've built what you want to build, uh, you can always extend this activity to be a solar house activity. You can get a box, you can mount your solar panel, and you can install your circuit in your house. Um, you can even upgrade your switch to something that looks super cool instead of your paperclip switch. And um, you can build your own little solar powered city. So tissue boxes, anything you've got laying around the house that you can turn into a house. Your Barbie dream house is also a great thing to solarize and have fun. And you can get an activity very similar to this um, at kidwind.org, it's called Solar Town, um, and at need.org, they have um, solar house um, activities as well. So I hope you enjoyed learning about solar power and how we can power many different things using series and parallel circuits and even adding in switches. Uh, if you've got a request for us to do as a live demo or any video ideas, please feel free to email us at casejmu at gmail.com. So C-A-S-E-J-M-U at gmail.com. Thanks so much.